Hey everybody, welcome. This is Paul and we're going to share a couple of tips and tricks today on Microsoft Project that will make you faster and smoother for yourself or for your audiences if you work with people. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a very short project. We're going to set up a kickoff task. We're going to set up a summary task and we'll set up a couple summary tasks, uh, subsidiary tasks, if you will. Okay, so now we have our summary task, summary task 1A and 2B, 2B. And the first thing we're gonna learn how to do is select, uh, is indent and outdent a task without using your mouse. Super handy thing to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down and I'm gonna type it out. We're gonna type shift and alt and the left or right arrow key. And this is for indenting, indent or outdent. So this is really handy. So I've selected my task here. I've got my cursor on it. I hold down shift and alt and I hit my right arrow key. And what you'll see is that it just indented that task. I can also outdent it using the left arrow key, shift and alt and the left arrow key. So really neat. Now, if I hold down shift and multiple, um, I can select multiple lines. And again, shift alt and my right arrow key. You'll see I just indented those tasks. So that's something you do a lot of in Microsoft Project. And you'll see that's very handy. The other thing that we're going to learn today is moving a line up and down without using your mouse. So the first thing we're going to do is select a line using my shift and space. Space and key. Like an example here, I hold down shift to tap space and it selects the line. And once I've done that, then I'm going to hold shift and alt and the up or down arrow key. And you'll see what that does using this example up here. I select my line, I hold down shift alt and my arrow key up and you'll see I just moved summary task 1B up to ahead of 1A and I can even keep going up or down in the entire task hierarchy in Microsoft Project. So you'll see what we can do now is we can indent or outdent tasks if we want to or we can move them up or down and you know, select the line and then move them up or down in my task list throughout the entire plan. So super handy, I hope you found this useful and catch you later.